Now, washing police cars, picking up litter and unpaid shop work. Some of the Prime Minister's latest plans to crack down on antisocial behaviour. Yes, the pilot scheme will be rolled out across 10 areas in England and Wales and we'll see offenders clean up their crimes within 48 hours of being handed punishments. Well, the PM says it will make justice immediate and means communities can visibly see efforts to clean up vandalism and graffiti. Let's talk to political commentator Jason Reid, see what he makes of all of this. Jason, good morning to you. Um, is this a step in the right direction? I mean, it... it you can see the positive spin on all of this, but there are some negative sides to it as well. Good morning. Yeah, it's clear what Rishi Sunak is trying to do here. He's obviously aware that public services are creaking and that people are very much seeing that with strikes across various sectors. And when it comes to law and order in particular, he's very aware that the public are noticing that the police are really struggling under the pressure at the moment to deal with crime rates as they stand. And he, of course, has one eye on the next election that is not that far away. I think he knows that the rule of law is going to be an attack line for Labour. That is something that they're really going to go in hard on to try to attack the Tory record. But I think the problem with this particular proposal is it seems like fiddling while Rome burns. The problem that we have with crime in this country is not to do with vandalism and graffiti. It's much, much more fundamental than that, is that the police have not got charge rates or arrest rates high enough for really serious crimes, really violent crimes like burglary or robbery, like rape and sexual assault. That's where the issues lie. And then, of course, after that, we have issues in the courts as well with all kinds of backlogs, with um, what, the, what people would say is a lack of funding for the legal system. Barristers were on strike not long ago. And so I think that cynics will say the problem here is Rishi Sunak wants to be seen as tough on crime. But this measure isn't actually going to do much to address the problem that we have with crime in this country at the moment. Mm. Do you think this will appeal to red wall voters? That's what some of the papers are suggesting Rishi Sunak is doing with this policy. Because the timing is convenient in the sense that we've got the local elections coming up. And this, to Rishi Sunak, is him focusing on those local communities and giving those communities a sense of action being taken on the ground. It, it does seem to be levelling up in action. That's certainly what he will be hoping for. And so the message that Rishi Sunak and the Tory party more broadly, including on a local level, is desperate to send out to voters, especially in those crucial red wall areas, is to say, look, we really see these issues that you care about and we really are trying to do our best uh, to solve those issues. And so you should give us another term in government, whether that's uh, electing your MP next year or whether it's in the local elections electing a local Tory councillor and trust us to solve those problems. The question is whether the public are actually going to buy it. We've had a Conservative government for as long as we can remember now and we know that these problems come from the national level, not the local level, because they're to do with funding and policing. And so it's whether people are actually going to buy into what Rishi Sunak is trying to say here, that he really can tackle crime in this country or whether people are going to think, well, maybe it's time to try a different party, which is, of course, the opposite of what he's going for. It not there an argument to say that this perhaps isn't a national issue and a funding issue in, in, in the sense that you're suggesting, in that this is about, you know, it, often about very small communities or parts of communities where, where people for whatever reason, are behaving in an antisocial way. And it's often, not exclusively, but often young people. And it, that is in itself very difficult to tackle by making it sort of a, a short, sharp shock, as it were, by giving imme people immediately some work to do. There is a sense, isn't there, that perhaps that could actually have an impact. That could actually dissuade people at a young age from misbehaving. It's a good point, and there has been a lot of focus recently, of course, on the local level when it comes to policing. We've had the review recently of the Metropolitan Police in London, a lot of focus on London. We perhaps hear less about policing in the rest of the country than we should. Um, but I think the criticism is going to be that this isn't really a solution to that problem you've identified of um, young people sometimes getting sucked into this life of, of petty crime, because it doesn't really deal with the fundamental issues. If it were to do with you know funding youth services or something like that, then maybe that would start to drive at the heart of the issue. But we're already seeing that council tax is going to go up across the country, and yet local councils are still making all kinds of 
cuts to essential services, let alone investing in new services like that. Uh, so Rishi Sunak is faced with that really difficult choice where he has to either uh, approve even more tax rises to have more money in the pot to give out to local governments to do that kind of thing, which understandably he really doesn't want to do, especially with the tax burden as high as it is already. Or he just has to kind of send this message of saying, look, I'm doing everything I can. Let's try to do something on law and order, uh, even if it really doesn't address that fundamental issue, because we already have you know, a, a legal system with all the sentencing that we need and giving out jail terms and, and things like that to try to dissuade people from engaging in this kind of behavior. And it just isn't working at the moment. And it doesn't seem like there's really too much solid coming from the government to actually change that. Well, it does come at a time when Rishi Sunak's popularity is increasing in the polls. We've seen him to be a, a quieter prime minister than the likes of someone like Boris Johnson. Uh, but he is seen by many to be getting things done. I mean, just look at the Windsor framework, which was approved this week, and now tackling the small boats crisis. We're going to see uh, more about that in Parliament this week. Uh, but now setting his sights on improving communities, it, it seems to me that it, it's, a, it's, it's a tick box, isn't it? It's something that can be achieved somewhat easily. Well, you're definitely right that this is part of a broader strategy for Rishi Sunak and the Conservative Party. Sunak is trying to present himself as a problem solver. Exactly as you say, he's uh, making out that he's solved the, the Brexit issue, which does seem to have made a huge amount of progress since he inherited that situation from uh, Boris Johnson. Um, he's, of course, got his new legislation coming through to try to deal with the, the boat crossings in the channel. He's trying to betray himself as a really sensible politician who can be trusted, contrasting himself perhaps to what has gone before. And so with a really serious issue like crime, he's saying, look, I'm the guy you need. And yes, it's true that he has been, uh, him and the party, their approval ratings have been going up in the polls, but they are still trailing Labour by quite a long way. There is still a significant uphill battle that they've got to fight. There's still a lot of people in this country, especially in those red wall areas you were talking about, who are just not convinced that the Tories have what it takes to do more, uh, to do five more years in government. And so there's more that they have to do. And this is certainly part of that. Rishi Sunak will be hoping that this kind of policy really sends that message to those voters that they've got their best interests at heart. But whether it actually works at the polls, we'll have to wait and see. And whether it works in reducing levels of these kinds of crimes as well, only time will tell. Oh, indeed so. Uh, Jason, good to see you. Thanks very much indeed. Our